The Hunt, Lord Edward's Archer, Book 7, by Griff Hosker, continues the historical fiction series centered around the life of Gerald Warbow, an archer in service of Lord Edward during the turbulent times of the 14th century. The novel thrusts the reader back into a time of noble conflict, political intrigue, and the constant battle for power within the English realm and across its contested borders. As the seventh installment in the series, the narrative relies on the established history of its protagonist and his experiences as a skilled archer who has risen through the ranks to become a trusted agent and commander under Lord Edward. At the opening of the hunt, Gerald is recalled from his lands in Wales by his lord and king, Edward. The story is set in a period of relative peace for England, but as is common with times of tranquility, it's often a prelude to darker times ahead. The peace is fragile, and the king's enemies are many, both at home and abroad. Gerald, aware that complacency can often precede disaster, uses this restive period to strengthen his own estates and train his men for combat. This preparation proves timely, as the wind changes and brings with it new challenges that threaten the stability of Edward's realm. The tale unfolds as reports of troubling activities arrive from the northern borders. Scots are crossing into the English territory, wreaking havoc and probing defenses, which raises suspicions of a larger conflict brewing. Lord Edward is not one to wait for threats to grow unchecked, and with his loyal subjects such as Gerald, he believes in striking when the enemy least expects it. Gerald, with his exceptional archery skills, keen strategic mind, and experience in both warfare and diplomacy, is the ideal candidate to lead critical missions in these volatile regions. Gerald's reputation has grown such that his mere presence can deter minor aggressions and rally the troops around him. However, as he manages skirmishes and forays against those testing the English boundaries, it becomes clear that a powerful noble from Scotland, with familial ties to the crown, is orchestrating these raids to undermine King Edward's authority. This adversary proves to be wily and formidable, instigating a game of cat and mouse that spans across the northern territories. The situation grows even more complicated as tensions with France begin to simmer. King Edward must be strategic in his alliances and defense, hoping to avoid a war on two fronts. Gerald's role expands from the battlefield to the diplomatic arena, as he is sent to negotiate with potential allies, using his wit and influence to secure favorable outcomes for England. With Lord Edward's guidance, he navigates the treacherous waters of medieval politics, ensuring that his king retains the upper hand in the chess game for dominance. Meanwhile, Gerald's personal life reflects the turmoil of his professional duties. Though he is a warrior, he is not immune to heartache, loss, and the trials of love and family. His fierce loyalty to his men and his king is paralleled by his devotion to those he holds dear. As he faces the challenges ahead, Gerald's character is further honed, exhibiting the virtues of chivalry that define the true heroes of his age. His relationships, particularly with his wife and children, anchor him, providing solace amid the chaos of war. As the story progresses, the Scots launch a surprise attack and open conflict erupts on the border. Gerald, ever the tactician, uses his archers to devastating effect, crafting ambushes and employing guerrilla tactics that cripple the larger Scottish forces. Through these encounters, he captures key enemies and uncovers valuable intelligence. These successes bolster English morale and demonstrate Gerald's invaluable role as a leader and strategist. However, the Scottish nobleman remains at large, a constant thorn in Gerald's side. It becomes apparent that capturing or killing him is imperative to securing lasting peace on the northern border. Gerald embarks on a dangerous mission to entrap his nemesis, which leads to a tense and climactic pursuit through the challenging terrain of the borderlands. It's a testament to Gerald's determination and skill that he is relentless in his pursuit, driven by his unyielding sense of duty and justice. As the novel nears its conclusion, Gerald and his men find themselves in a decisive battle that will dictate the fate of the northern region. It is a bloody and brutal engagement with the future of English dominance at stake. Gerald, emboldened by the righteousness of his cause and the support of his king, exhibits valor and leadership that inspire his men to fight with unparalleled courage. In a fitting crescendo, 
Gerald faces his Scottish adversary in a personal combat that pits skill against skill, will against will. The confrontation is not only a physical battle, but also a symbolic duel between the two nations vying for supremacy. In a display of masterful archery and combat prowess, Gerald emerges victorious, but not without sacrifices and scars that will mark him for life. In the aftermath of the battle, peace returns to the border, albeit a peace that is recognized as temporary by those who understand the cycles of history. Gerald's accomplishments are acknowledged by King Edward, and he is rewarded with further titles and lands. Yet even in victory, Gerald is reflective, knowing that the cost of war is steep and that the future holds more challenges for him, his family, and his country. The Hunt, Lord Edward's Archer, Book 7, wraps up by setting the stage for the next chapter in Gerald's life, a life intertwined with the destiny of England. His skill with the bow, his strategic mind, and his deep-seated honor place him at the heart of the kingdom's future endeavors. Readers are left with the understanding that while one battle may be over, the war for power and influence is never truly finished. Gerald, as Lord Edward's archer, remains a key player in the ongoing saga of medieval England's fight for sovereignty and glory. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.